What's going on guys, that Black Rim here again. And you can see with this video, we're kind of starting off a little rough. We got the tool toolbox out here, kind of got a mess in my bed. But we're gonna get into what exactly is going on here with the truck and why I've got a jack stand under it. Kind of got the setup a little bit here, but we're gonna get this wheel off and we're gonna be diving right in. So let's kind of get right into what we're really making this video about today. Uh, so as you can see, I have full air ride on my truck, all four corner. Um, and for some reason, uh, I had to air down for a few days. And when I aired it up, the bag was wrapped around the mount. So out of my own stupidity, it ended up blowing a hole in the bag, or at least I think that's how I did it because the bag was stuck around the mount when I uh, originally got it jacked up. But uh, we don't have the bag today, or at least get it out. And uh, thankfully, RI Fab, shout out to them. He's getting a bag uh, shipped out and it'll be here tomorrow. And uh, let's start tearing into this thing. Sorry for not really uh, having the best angles here. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna end up doing is getting this airline off this top bracket. Uh, so this thing is fully separated. I end up using uh, double hose clamps on this for safety. I uh, haven't had any issues with that so that's good i did have like the the push connect ones and i really wasn't a fan of it um i felt like uh with those hoses the angle was kind of hard here for it and uh it was just kinking and i really wasn't getting much air pressure to the front here especially with how far the run is uh, compared to the rear so as you can see we got this airline off of the fitting right here um now we're just gonna slip that back up and we'll start uh, with disconnecting the lower part of the sway bar end link. And I have two bolts up here to get the bag out. There's uh, nothing really ideal about the situation. I don't usually work in my driveway like this, um, but where I usually work, I obviously can't get the truck to. Uh, so this is kind of what we're rolling with at the moment on the stones. And uh, I just got an office chair and we're making it work. So now we're uh, gonna get this sway bar end disconnected. Um, I wish there was kinda, I had a disconnect way for that, uh, but instead I opted into doing the top because clearly what holds this lower mountain is that bolt. So we're kinda stuck with this, but um, it makes me feel a lot better that I'm not really depending on a pin for that. Uh, as far as up here, uh, doesn't really bother me too much. I think I'm gonna have to kind of adjust these sway bars a little bit because I got adjustable ones. Uh, they're clearly out of whack a little bit. I know the truck's kind of at an odd angle especially, but um, we'll kind of mess with that once uh, we got everything working again. All right, so now at this point, uh, we're gonna be ready to take the bag out. And uh, we're gonna end up taking these mounts off and getting this bag out. I'll show you what, where the tear is and we'll kind of see if maybe we can kind of get an idea of what did it, um, especially so I can avoid that again. But uh, that's what we'll get today, and hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to put the new bag in. Now, uh, this one in here is kind of awkward. There's a lot of dirt in there. But um, I have a crow's foot that I put on this one. Uh, it said it wasn't needed that for a nut to be on that stud where the air comes in, but that's something I prefer. So I have it on all four corners. And this one's a one and an eighth. So I have this one specifically for this job, uh, which is fine, but I should probably just kind of get a whole pack of these to be honest. Kind of do this just to get it loose and we'll uh, spin the rest off by hand. It wasn't bad to be honest. It's pretty easy now, that I especially kind of know what I'm doing, uh, which helps a lot. Kind of an awkward angle here, but I can at least show you what I'm doing or what we're looking at. So uh, this bag, uh, one of the first things I noticed, uh, this isn't supposed to be all the way extended up like this, and none of them are like that. I know they're not supposed to be like that, but like I said, it got caught around the mount and it got stretched. 
Um, so as you can see right here, here's our hole. Uh, that was a pretty gnarly hole. Um, clearly got dug into. I got to find that spot and maybe see what I can do. Uh, but I guess when I've talked to uh, my brother-in-law kind of gave me some advice that these are always supposed to have air pressure in them. Uh, and I kind of, I had it dumped and I had it sitting on a weird angle and that was probably a large part of the issue. Uh, so if I'm gonna have her have it dumped, I gotta be on flat ground. There's a precaution I'm gonna take. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's a pretty gnarly uh, uh, break right there. I had to rip into it uh, pretty hard, but no big deal. Uh, it's not too expensive to fix. Happy I'm able to get it next day. Uh, something that needs done regardless. I'm not gonna let it sit there like that. So this thing is it's just trash at the moment. I'll give it away. No, I'm just kidding. I, no, no, no one can do anything with it. Unless you think you can fix it, you can have it. I don't care. Uh, as far as getting in the truck here, I really gotta do a deep cleaning on this. Uh, these oil changes are ridiculous on these trucks. But um, there is a pretty rub spot right here. Um, on the frame i don't really know what i can do about that that's kind of hard but it looks uh looks pretty obvious that's the spot i mean it's the only clean spot right there behind and there's kind of a line here that's like identical to the one that was on the bag but i'm pretty sure it kind of caught this corner here um it's not welded all the way around this corner so that really might be part of the issue um i wonder if it was kind of rubbing on it over time maybe there's something i could put there um like maybe there's some some rubber or something I can kind of wrap around this corner, like some like some sticky rubber. But uh, yeah, guys, as I sit out in my front yard like a hillbilly in a uh, my computer chair and working on my truck, you know, I got my nice truck and it's on a jack stands right now. Uh, we'll kind of put the truck in the shot. We got the old power stroke over here that I made a video on the other day. Um, this is kind of just what it is owning this stuff, you know. Uh, I really didn't think this would happen to me as fast as it did. But it's just kind of just part of owning something like this. You know, Air Ride is not, this is not a factory thing. It's not really designed for it. Uh, there's a lot of things you have to work around. Uh, I'm really happy with what I did still. Uh, there was a lot of work that went into this. And I think that's what kind of sucks is that I, I worked so hard on this. Uh, this took a lot of thinking for me because I've never done anything like this before. This truck's, I've done everything to. So everything's been a huge learning process for this truck. And uh, this is just another step in the process. But I've seen people do stuff like this before. They rub and especially in areas like that. I've heard about the track bar mounts rubbing. Uh, I don't believe. Yes, yeah, so that's not even related to the track bar uh, from what it appears on this angle. But. I know the other side I can rub pretty hard and I'll have to kind of take some time to check on that one and see what's going on with that. Uh, maybe air it down and put it on a jack stand and kind of move it over and see. But I didn't really think it would get that close to the frame. Uh, I think it's kind of a ride height issue, to be honest. Uh, if it's, I might have to maybe move the bag out more on the mount, uh, which I think I can make happen. Because there's definitely some adjustability on the lower part of the mount and maybe that would help but i'll have to look into when we get the bag here in the morning and uh we'll go from there guys